Hello, my name is Mr. Alberto, and today I have a very special video for you today. So, the All Dungeons category in Windmaker HD just got a massive time save. So, normally after beating Godon, you need to go through this warp. And this warp will take you to a map where you ring the bell. And the warp, taking the warp is required in the All Dungeons category because it's a requirement for beating the dungeon. However, the problem is that normally the warp makes you go to the map where you have to ring the bell. And if you try to save and quit, you just go back to that map. And the only way to get off that map is to ring the bell, go down to Hyrule, pull the Master Sword, and then come back up from the Hyrule. And that whole thing loses about six minutes. However, we recently found a way to trigger this warp and then save warp on the very first frame of triggering the warp, which still counts. I'm going to show you how you can tell. And then you can go back to the start of the dungeon, which skips that entire trip down to Hyrule. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. So after beating Godon, normally we enter the warp, but we're actually not going to do that. So what we're going to do is a setup to enter the warp um, and open the option menu on the exact same frame as triggering the warp, which then we can use that to pause the game and save warp. Very similar to pause storage. It actually is the same inputs. So the first thing we're going to do is we actually have to get rid of this heart because this heart is going to be in our, in our way. I'm, I want to show you. Uh, how to get rid of it so we're we're going to home buffer and perform a side hop to the right that's the very first thing so i'm going to press the home button and i'm going to hold left um zl and a to side hop and then we're going to clear this text and now we're going to side hop back into place with a second side hop we can get right back into place and then we're going to hold right on this one Okay, and then now we're going to perform three crawls forward. So we're just going to hold uh, R and then just very barely hold forward so that he just goes on the ground three times. And then for this, now we want to make sure we are using the Pro Controller. So I'm going to switch to the Pro Controller and now I'm going to slash the sword while holding nothing. Just an untargeted slash which gives you a horizontal slash. And now I'm going to um, hold the Option button and then press Home. And now you can release everything, release the option button, release B, and press home again. And so, doesn't necessarily look like anything happened, but let's switch to the gamepad. And so now you can notice something very interesting has happened, and this is how you can tell that you actually got it. You may notice that the HUD is gone. The HUD is completely gone. So if I were to save the game right now, I would have saved technically after having triggered the loading, triggered the warp for one frame. But just to prove it, if I were to unpause right now, the warp would just trigger instantly. So um, effectively, instead of doing this, you know, you save and then you quit the game, and that puts you at the start of Tower of the Gods. So uh, yeah, I, I mean, I already saved the game. So um, but yeah, um, also. This uh, is a glitch cutscene because I never spawned Tower of the Gods, but you get the point. So instead of continuing and then, you know, this, um, we're going to quit and that will put us at the start of Tower of the Gods. That effectively skips all of Hyrule 1, which saves six minutes. And so the route is actually going to change a lot because of this. I'm not going to go over all the route changes in this in this uh, video. However, just know all dungeons is about to be sub two hours. This is the last thing the category needed before sub two becoming a very feasible reality in the very near future. In fact, I'm going to be going for sub two attempts for all dungeons on stream um, whenever I stream next. So stay tuned for those runs. It's gonna be really exciting to run this new route. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it explains the new uh, glitch discovery really well. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, and comment below. See you guys next time. Bye bye.